Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your people here. Thank you for the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord will multiply in every heart. Thank you for the peace we have, overflowing peace. Lord, I pray your peace will multiply in every life in Jesus' name. Lord, wipe our tears away. Take the sorrows away. Take sickness away. Take burden away. And I pray that this day will be a day of joy. A day of power. A day of miracle. A day when the anointing breaks every yoke in every life in Jesus' name. Lord, we cancel and destroy all the works of the devil. You will enjoy your life. You will enjoy your family. You will enjoy the work of your hand. And when we finish here, God will take you to a glorious heaven. Confirm your blessing on every life today. In Jesus' name we pray. Sit down in the blessing of the Lord. Tonight we're looking at some passages of scripture. I'm looking at Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah chapter 30. I'm reading from verse 26. You need to mark this in your Bible. Isaiah chapter 30. And we're looking at verse 26. It says, Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun. And the light of the sun shall be sevenfold. The light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of seven days in the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of the people, his own people, and healeth the stroke of their wound. There in that word of God, it gives us a promise. And it gives a promise of sevenfold blessing. And I want to tell you today, your joy will become sevenfold. Your peace will become sevenfold. The power and the victory of God in your life will become sevenfold in Jesus' name. Now you mark that word sevenfold in that passage. And I'm linking that passage with Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. And I'm reading here from verse 19. Hebrews Chapter 10, we're reading from verse 19. It says in verse 19, Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter. Somebody is entering today. Boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. It says, through the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we have the boldness to enter into the blessing of God. And then as we link that together, sevenfold miracle through the blood of Jesus. Sevenfold miracle through the blood of Jesus. You see, many people, they do not understand the great power in the blood of Jesus. The great provision in the blood of Jesus and the great possibilities through the blood of Jesus. That's why I come to tell you today there is a sevenfold miracle. Sevenfold miracle in the blood of Jesus. And it is not through your effort, it's what he did already. He paid the price for you on the cross of Calvary. And you can have one, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven through the blood of Jesus. Help me to do that. Write this word miracle. And you write it from up to down. Write it like a straight line, like these poles coming from up to the bottom. M, capital. I, capital. R, capital. A, capital. C, capital L capital tell me the last E capital count them how many one two count now three four five six seven 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 fold miracle through the blood of Jesus Christ M mercy for every sinner I, 
inheritance with the saints our redemption from slavery a atonement for your soul c cleansing from all sin l liberation from sickness e escape from eternal suffering all through the blood of jesus and this is the sevenfold miracle the lord is going to give you today you'll be free in your soul you'll be free in your spirit you'll be free in your body you'll be free in your family because of the blood of jesus all the works of the devil will be totally destroyed out of your life in jesus name ephesians chapter 2 we're looking at mercy for every sinner there are some people they think i'm a great sinner and therefore they're running away from god no you're a sinner that's the reason you come to god what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus what can wash away all my stain nothing but the blood of jesus the sinner must run to the savior that to a sinner does not mean that you know the judgment day has come it's not the judgment day yet it's the day of mercy look at ephesians chapter 2 i'm reading to you from verse 4 it says but God who is rich in mercy for his grace wherewith he loved us he loves you he doesn't love your sin but he loves you he wants to cleanse you from your sin he wants to save you from your sin he wants to forgive you that's why Jesus prayed on the cross of Calvary he said father forgive them forgiveness is coming to you today forgive them for they know not what they do look at verse 5 it says in verse 5 even when we were dead in sins he has quickened us together with Christ by grace he has saved salvation is coming your way I said salvation is coming your way how does that happen? How do we receive mercy? Because, you know, it says some have sinned and come short of the glory of God. If we have sinned, if we have done evil, we should be expecting judgment. All of a sudden, Jesus Christ came. He said, I'll carry your sin. I'll bear your sin. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. You should have died. And then Jesus comes as your substitute. And he came as your savior. And he says, I will take your sin. I will carry your sin. I will forgive you. I will take the punishment of your sin. That's why he shed his blood. And that mercy comes to the sinner through the blood of Jesus Christ. Look at verse 13. In verse 13 it says, but now. It says, we have been sinners, but now. It said, we were guilty, but now. We were expecting judgment, he said, but now. We were strangers to God because we were sinners. Then he says, but now in Christ Jesus, ye who was sometimes afar off and made nice. Tell me what you see there by the blood of Christ by the blood of Christ that's the miracle of mercy and the miracle of mercy mercy is salvation mercy in forgiveness that because Jesus died for you and because he shared his blood you are going to have the mercy of God and he says I wanted to judge you I wanted to throw you into hell I want you to separate you from myself forever and ever but I see Jesus and because of the blood of Jesus you were far away now you come near and as many as were called upon the name of the Lord today he will forgive your sin he will write your name in the book of life he'll say because of the blood because of the blood because of the blood of my only begotten son i show mercy to you you are saved i said you are saved and nobody has a reason not to be saved when the blood of jesus christ has been shed for you all you have to do is to say yes lord i believe yes lord i come i have been far away and now see jesus shed his blood for me i come i come and whosoever comes to me whosoever comes to me i will in no wise reject 
Maybe you were born on the other side of the fence. Maybe you were in another religion. Maybe you were an idol worshiper. And then you hear that Jesus said, He didn't even mind all that you did. And He said, I came for you and I'm going to save you. And then you say, I will not stay in darkness anymore. I will not stay in idol worship anymore. I will not stay in all those evil things anymore. Lord, I come. He will receive you tonight. I'm looking at somebody there. I said, He will receive you tonight outside there he will receive you tonight in jesus name is the mercy for every sinner like he gave water to every sinner he gives the air to breathe to every sinner he gives the sun to every sinner he gives the rain to every sinner for the earth here now he gives you salvation he gives you forgiveness and he gives that to every sinner so you will get to heaven if you don't get to heaven don't blame god he has done everything he ought to do. If you don't get to heaven, don't blame Satan. God has done what he ought to do. If you don't get to heaven, don't blame me. I told you. I said, a step between you and heaven. Just take the step like this. Lord, I come, you will enter heaven. Somebody there said you will enter heaven. Because Jesus shed his blood for you. Am mercy for every sinner. I this is wonderful you know the blood of jesus christ what he does for us he gives us inheritance with the saints when i'm talking about the saints have you had the name of some saints before you've heard of saint stephen you heard of saint paul you've heard of saint peter you've heard of saint john there are many other saints like that and then the lord is saying think about this you're asking how did they make them saints how do people become saints because they say saint paul saint peter can i do something so that i can become a saint and have the same inheritance and the same possibility and the same power in prayer and the same recognition in heaven that wants to become myself now saint william say your word how do we become saint william saint uh, julius there and saint mary there how do we become like a saint what we do is that we look at the blood of Jesus. I thought you have to do this and do this and do that before you have the inheritance of the saints. Let me show you. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1 is the blood, is the blood. This inheritance comes to you by the blood of Jesus. The moment you say, I believe in that blood, I accept that blood. What that blood did for me. Look at Colossians chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 12. Giving thanks unto the Father who has made us meet to be partakers of the, tell me, the inheritance of the saints in light he has made us you don't make yourself he has made us the partakers of the inheritance of the saints look at verse 13 who has delivered us you know how simple it is tonight you are going to be delivered all yokes broken all fetters destroyed all those is limiting your life tonight is tonight the devil will look at you like this and say, bye bye, I've gone. Sorrow will look at you and say, bye bye, I've gone. All those evil spirits trying to tie you down, you say, bye bye, I have gone. And all the poverty, thank God, I have gone. Cause and yoke, I'm telling you tonight, I'm no more there. I said I'm no more there. From your head, he will take all the curse away. From your mind, he'll take all the infirmities away. Sickness, bye-bye forever and ever. I'm talking about somebody there. You're free tonight. Look at this. In verse 13, it says, Who has delivered us from the power? And he has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Have you heard about uh, one man? His name is Enoch. The Lord translated him. He took him out of this place and he took him to the great beyond. In such a way, with the power of God, he'll take you out of darkness, transfer you to the light. 
will take you out of oppression and translate you to liberty. It will take you out of sickness. And thank God you are well tonight. He'll take you out of sickness and translate you to health. He'll take you out of all the pain. And now there is no pain in your body because of the blood of Jesus. Look at verse 14. In whom we have redemption through his blood you see that it is not you know i struggle i try i do this i do that it is the blood that gives you the inheritance come back to verse 12 giving thanks unto the father which has made all suitable and fit and meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light all through the blood that Jesus shed for you and you know you don't pay for inheritance look up here you see somebody is your father or your mother or your uncle and he has all this land and he has a house there has a house there has another house there and then before that person died he wrote they call it a will and then he said for so and so he said you will get that house that's what we call inheritance it is not something you pay for you don't have to go to the bank and borrow money because you want to have that house the inheritance of the saints come through the blood of jesus christ just by the time he was going to die he said i came to bring life i will it to you eternal life i will it to you prosperity i will it to you healing i will it to you happiness i will it to you childbearing i will it to you signs and wonders i will it to you that's the inheritance because of his blood we have number one mercy for every sinner thank god there's mercy for you today you know some people are afraid you know i've been a big sinner i've been a great sinner god is going to kill me no he will not kill you he will save you he will not kill you he'll forgive you he will not kill you he will take you from the world and take you to heaven in jesus name and then inheritance for the saints all the joy you need all the happiness you need all the healing you need and all the miracle you need thank god today is your day number three is redemption from slavery redemption from slavery you know let me explain redemption to you you see you have um, slaves in those days and these slaves if you have seen their pictures sometimes they're tied with the chain in their hand and they tie them with chain to another slave and then to another slave and then to another slave and then their master will be pulling them and then because of the chain now everybody will be following and they know that they're in slavery forever and ever and then they take them to the market as they take them to the market they'll just be there and the slave owners they sell them like they sell goats they sell them like they sell animals and then somebody will come and say okay i want this one and then he'll pay the money for that and then they will lose that chain and release that one and the other slaves that are watching there they'll be wondering when will somebody come to redeem me when will somebody come to purchase me when will somebody come to buy me over and jesus saw us we were in chains and shackles we were in the stocks and the devil just chained us like that he changed some people with sickness he changed some people with arthritis he changed some people with cancer he changed some people with blindness he changed them he said you are mine forever and ever and then our redeemer has come somebody there your redeemer has come and he saw you tied down there tonight is your night because the blood is shed for you and the blood he gave for your redemption that is the sin that sets you free redemption from slavery the slavery of sin you're free the slavery of sickness you're free the slavery of a yoke you're free and then the happily said you know your father your mother or somebody your relative you know uh, came to do something and they didn't pay the money they ought to pay and he says okay i know what i will do all his children all his relatives i'm going to tie them down i'm going to give them this they'll never make progress as so i try to make progress like this the chain of the habanese on your leg is not allowing you to make progress and now redemption day has come 
I'm talking to somebody there. Redemption day has come. All those chains are broken in Jesus' name. Redemption from slavery. Look at Hebrews chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 12. Here it says, Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood. That's Jesus Christ. That's your Savior. That's your Lord. That's your Redeemer. That's your Deliverer. That's the one that has come to set you free from every form of slavery. It says, by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained, having obtained, having obtained short-time redemption, having obtained, tell me, eternal redemption for us and you know it says in the first through his blood redemption redemption from slavery everything that has held you back everything is broken and it is because of his blood by the way it did no no three points today seven points today i said seven points today because you know a sevenfold miracle coming upon your life a sevenfold deliverance coming upon your life number one is the mercy you are getting mercy today and number two is inheritance you are having inheritance today number three is redemption thank god you are redeemed I wish I could come there and shake your hand because I'm so happy for you because in your heart you're free. In your spirit you're free. In your body you're free. Go back to that business tomorrow. The people that are not coming to buy and they tie them down tomorrow, they'll be rushing and rushing and rushing because redemption has come and all the goodness of God in your life, they will multiply in Jesus' name. You know, you had that migraine headache or whatever, tonight you're free. It's like cool air is blowing upon your head. Everything is now all right. All the palpitation of the heart, I see you there. Everything is gone now. And the heart that is doing like this, as if the heart will jump out, God has said, peace be still. Because redemption has come. I have it. I said I have it. You will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Number four, atonement for your soul. Atonement for your soul. You see, it's the blood of Jesus Christ that brings this atonement. We're looking at Leviticus chapter 17. Leviticus chapter 17. And I'm reading from verse 11. Leviticus chapter 17. It's the blood. It's the blood that grants you atonement. We're looking at, uh, we're looking at uh, chapter 17. And in verse 11. It says, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. The life of the flesh is in the blood. And I have given it to you upon the altar to make and tell me an atonement for your soul. For it is the blood that maketh atonement for the soul. It is the blood that maketh atonement for the soul. You know what that means? It's like, uh, you know, you, I, I don't know what is happening. Heaven is angry at the sinner every day. I don't know what is happening. It's like the angels are angry at the sinner every day. I don't know what is happening. It's like the whole of heaven is angry. I go this way, I see the smoke of the anger. I go that way, I see the fury of the anger. I go, it's like everything blocks my way. And then somebody told you, why don't you make atonement? You say, what does that mean? He says, go and make a sacrifice. But the Lord will not accept an animal sacrifice. He will not accept a fowl as a sacrifice. What sacrifice will I make? He says, look at him on the cross. His name is Jesus. And then look at him as a share this blood they put a crown of thorns on him they pierce his side and then the blood came out and it is that blood that makes atonement for your soul and all the fury of heaven all the anger of heaven against your life all that anger is gone 
God then says, I'm not your judge anymore. I'm your father. I'm the lover of your soul. Because atonement has been made, you can now go with peace of mind. Be justified freely by his grace. We have peace with God. Look at this. Romans chapter 5. The blood that makes the atonement. Atonement for your soul. We're looking at Romans chapter 5. In Romans chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 8. Romans chapter 5, we're looking at verse 8. Here is it, here is it. Romans chapter 5, and we're reading from verse 8. It says in verse 8, But God commendeth his love towards me. God commendeth his love towards me. That's why he's preparing a place for you in heaven. You thought you were bad. It says Jesus Christ has paid your penalty. Jesus Christ has removed your guilt. And Jesus Christ is thinking well of you. But God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us much more than being now justified by, tell me, tell me out loud. By his blood, do you see that the atonement is the blood, is the blood of Jesus? Be not justified by his blood, who shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being not reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Look at verse 11 and not, not only so. But we also joy, we rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have received, tell me, the atonement, the atonement. That means then he has totally quenched all the fury, all the fire, all the anger, all the smoke of his judgment against your life. Because of the blood, because of the blood, because that's what he says in verse 9, much more than being now justified by his blood. You see, mercy for every sinner, it comes through the blood. Inheritance of the saints, it comes through the blood. And redemption that gets you out of slavery, it comes through the blood. Atonement, atonement for your soul that there's no anger over your life anymore and you have the peace of God now. It comes through the blood of the Lamb. Number five is cleansing, cleansing from all sin. You think about the value of the blood of Jesus and the wars of the blood of Jesus and think of the possibilities in the blood of Jesus miracle M for mercy I for inheritance R for redemption and A for atonement C for cleansing in first John chapter 1 first john chapter one and here is what the blood of jesus christ does for us in first john chapter one verse seven it says but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another and the blood everybody shout the blood and the blood of jesus christ his son cleanses us from all sin the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Look up here for a moment. Somebody has a dirty cloth. And he wants this cloth to be clean, as white as snow, and whiter than snow. And he says, uh, you know, I'm going to wash uh, this cloth. I'm going to wash it white. And he tries, he brings water, a bucket of water, and he puts it there, and he squeezes, and he squeezes. He looks at it, all the stains are still there. And then he tries again, and he squeezes in his own strength, in his own power, and the stains are still there. And somebody says, what are you trying to do? He says, I'm trying to wash this cloth, and I want it to be as white as white can be. And then how are you doing it? He says, I am, you know, putting all this, uh, look at all this water, and the thing is not uh, being cleaned. And the fellow said, step aside, and he takes that cloth from him, and he puts detergent inside the water. And without any effort at all he puts it in like that just rinses and he brings it out hey the thing is white i said the thing is white 
what you are trying to do by yourself you cannot clean up your life by yourself i will try i will struggle i vow i'm not going to do this i'm not going to do that all that is trying it doesn't bring the blood of jesus in and i'm saying what are you trying to do somebody says i'm trying to be clean i'm trying to be holy i'm trying to be righteous how are you trying that i'm trying to turn over a new leaf it will not work but the blood of jesus comes over your soul and you'll be clean and you'll be pure because it says and the blood of jesus christ his son cleanses us from what all sin all sin look at verse 9 it says in verse 9 in that uh, first john verse 9 but if we confess our sin that's all you do that's all you do if we confess our sin he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness your day has come if you're feeling guilty about anything you know it's not by crying it's not by saying oh god punish me oh god do this for me and that will not take away your sin but the blood the blood of jesus is suffered for you he shed his blood for you and the moment you say i know that blood was shed for me lord i believe your heart will be clean he will forgive you you will have the witness of the spirit of god in you he has forgiven me i'm a new person right now you have mercy by the blood you have inheritance by the blood you have redemption by the blood you have atonement by the blood you have cleansing by the blood you have liberation from sickness somebody there liberation from sickness i said you have liberation from sickness he will set you free i said he will set you free he sets you free from satan he sets you free from sicknesses he sets you free from evil spirits and when those evil spirits when they see you if you have the mark of the blood of jesus on you they cannot cross the bloodline sickness cannot cross the bloodline infirmity cannot cross the bloodline it is the blood it is the blood of jesus christ that sets you free free from satan you'll be free free from evil spirits you'll be free and free from sicknesses and attacks and affliction you're free in jesus name revelation chapter 12 revelation chapter 12 i'm reading now from verse 11 and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb who did they overcome they overcame satan they overcame the destroyer they overcame the one that brought sickness the one that brought disease into the world they overcame him by the blood of the lamb if you're going to overcome sickness it's by the blood of the lamb overcome satan is by the blood of the lamb overcome all those tormenting spirits it is by the blood of the lamb it says that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony what does that mean I believe the blood of Jesus cleanses me. I believe the blood of Jesus kills me. I believe the blood of Jesus covers me. I believe the blood of Jesus converts me. I believe the blood of Jesus creates me afresh and anew. It is the blood, the blood of Jesus. At the moment you say, Yes, Lord, I believe that blood was shed for me, you will be free i said you will be free because the blood of jesus had not lost its power this is the miracle of the blood of the lamb that by stripes you are healed uh, let me read from verse 9 you understand verse 9 it says and the great dragon was cast out that dragon maybe your family tonight is cast out <laughs> evil powers cast out because he is cast out all those territorial spirits no not in your house i said not in your house and the dragon the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceives the whole world he was cast into the earth and his angels were cast out with him and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation salvation has come 
and strength. Strength has come. And the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accuse them before our God day and night and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Let's make it personal and we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb. Make it your own and I overcome him by the blood of the Lamb. The least in the kingdom of God, the youngest in the kingdom of God will be an overcomer because of Jesus Christ. See what I'm telling you. David looked at Goliath and he said, I come to you in the name of the Lord whom you have defied. And then he threw that thing and he sunk into his head and Goliath fell down. When Goliath fell down, the youngest Israelite and the youngest recruit of the soldiers in the army that was afraid before, look at Goliath lying down, that youngest and weakest of the armies of Israel can come and walk all over Goliath. I'm saying that Jesus Christ by his death on the cross of Calvary, Jesus Christ by the blood he shed, Goliath is falling. Yeah. The dragon is falling. Yeah. All the yokes and all the curses are falling. And the youngest of us here, you believe in the blood of the Lamb, you can come and walk over your problem and walk over all your infirmity because now you're free and you become a conqueror in Jesus' name. You have a seven fold miracle through the blood of Jesus Christ. And finally, 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 number seven, escape. Escape from earthly suffering and eternal suffering. Escape. I see somebody who has escaped there. They will not catch you again. They will try, they will fail. They will fight, they will fall. They won't catch you. I said they won't catch you. Powers of darkness will not catch you. Sickness will not catch you. All their poverty will not catch you. All the curses they throw, they can throw it from the village, they can throw it from the forest, they can throw it from the sea, it will not catch you because you have escaped. Look at this, Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12, and I'm reading from verse 12 and verse 13. Exodus chapter 12. And we're reading from verse 12 and verse 13 for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, against all the gods of Egypt. And I will execute judgment, says, because I am the Lord and, and, and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are and when I see the blood it's not your age when I see the blood it's not religion and when I see the blood it's not I'm trying my best and when I see the blood it's not the power of the enemy the enemy is powerless when I see the blood it's not the cry from the neighboring house they have come they have come they'll never get to you when I see the blood it's not that thing killed my father that thing killed my mother no don't think about that when I see the blood that scene you know we all always a premature death in a family. I remember uncle so-and-so. I remember cousin so-and-so. I remember so-and-so. They all died. But when I see the blood, somebody there. I said somebody there. I congratulate you that you are here. Because now when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Calamity will pass over you. Sorrow will pass over you. Premature death will pass over you. Judgment will pass over you. 
we escape by the blood of the lamb the blood of the lamb see jesus on the cross and see his blood flowing he said it's for your mercy see the blood he said it is for your inheritance see the blood is for your redemption see the blood is for your atonement see the blood is for your cleansing see the blood is for your liberation see the blood is for your escape and now the moment you believe on the lord jesus christ i'll say yes i believe he shared his blood for me mercy will come to you immediately eternal judgment will be taken away eternal suffering will be taken away when i see the blood i will pass over you who is that person there when i see the blood sickness is going when i see the blood affliction is going when i see the blood calamity is going why don't you rise up open your mouth and talk to the lord and say lord i thank you this is my day this is my day miracle mercy for every sinner inheritance of the saints and also redemption redemption you're redeemed you're redeemed by the blood of the lamb it's the blood it's the blood it's not your effort it's not your trying anybody can get saved today everybody here can get saved today you can call upon the name of the lord i believe i believe i believe jesus died for me it is not crying it is not throwing on the ground it is not turning over a new leaf it is not anything the blood the blood the blood that was shed for you is shed that blood for you i trust in that blood i trust in the death of jesus christ for me calamity will pass away from your life evil will go away from your life you come today you say i believe jesus shed that blood for me because there's mercy through the blood inheritance through the blood redemption through the blood atonement through the blood cleansing through the blood liberation through the blood escape from the second death escape from the final death escape from premature death escape from eternal suffering escape from hell because of the blood of jesus In Jesus' name we pray. As bowed and eyes closed, God is showing mercy now. The mercy of salvation. The mercy of salvation. You know, you need this forgiveness from the Lord. You're feeling guilty. And you know that if you die with this guilt, you're not sure where you'll spend eternity. Where you'll spend, you know, the rest of your life after the grave. And you're saying, I need peace of mind. I need forgiveness. I need salvation. I want all my sins to be forgiven and forgotten. And it's very simple. The moment you say, I believe in the blood of Jesus to give me the mercy for salvation. Heads bowed and eyes closed. You raise up your hand. You say, yes, Lord, I want that forgiveness. I want that forgiveness. Outside, outside, wherever you are, inside, wherever you are, you're raising up your hand. I want that forgiveness. The Lord is waiting for you this is your chance this is your chance you can have the mercy of the lord today he will forgive your sin he will take away that sin he'll take away the guilt and the condemnation because this is very important and then when you eventually die you will go to heaven or when christ comes you will take you to heaven wherever you are you're raising up your hand i want to see that hand thank you god bless you just say lord i come out of my sin and I come to you, Jesus, my Savior. I believe that you died for me. I believe I have this forgiveness now by the blood that you shed for me. And he will do it. He will do it. Lord, I come to you. I come out of darkness. I come to the light. I come under the cleansing, forgiving blood of Jesus. I receive now the miracle of mercy for the sinner. Raise up your hand. I'm going to pray for you. You're, you're standing here. God bless you. God bless you. This is your salvation. And those who are outside, left, right, just raise up your hand. We'll pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our new brothers and sisters. I thank you because whosoever comes to you, you will in no wise reject. Whatever they have done in the past, whatever, how ter however terrible it may be, I pray, Lord, forgive them in Jesus' name. 
we trust in the power cleansing power of the blood of the lamb i will pray that you take every guilt away take every condemnation away and lord i pray the peace of god will settle in their hearts assure them lord because of the blood of jesus their sins are forgiven because of the blood of jesus their souls are saved because of the blood of jesus they will not perish because of the blood of jesus you will take them to heaven when they die lord i pray you confirm that salvation in every heart every soul right now in jesus name i thank you because i know you have answered in jesus name we pray praise the lord because of the blood of jesus there is mercy because of the blood of jesus there is inheritance you know everything that is your inheritance that you have lost tonight you will receive it back redemption nobody will hold you in captivity they will not seize your mind they will not seize your soul god is angry with anybody that will enslave the redeemed of the lord you are redeemed you are redeemed from the curse of the law and that curse will never come upon you anymore he has made the atonement he has given the cleansing there is liberation from every sickness do you know that as you believe tonight and i believe i believe i believe your blind eyes will open and if you're sitting down there and you're wondering will i get up somebody there you will rise up something is swollen in your body and is giving some concern there that swelling it will vanish away it's you know it's kidney problem it is ulcer problem cancer problem thank god you're healed because of the blood of jesus why not why well, you're not going to be free you will escape from all the suffering of that sickness and when i see the blood i will pass over you are you there you raise up your hand now a sevenfold miracle sevenfold miracle sevenfold joy sevenfold victory sevenfold redemption and sevenfold freedom is coming does anybody believe what i'm saying somebody that do you believe what i'm saying you will see you will receive and after this prayer don't talk about satan anymore it's not in your house evil spirit don't talk about them anymore they are not your friends sickness don't talk about anymore you are redeemed by the blood of the lamb keep up that hand father in the name of jesus we thank you for this great discovery the sevenfold miracle through the blood of jesus lord i pray for everyone every yoke broken in jesus name all the fetters broken in jesus name all the bondage taken away in jesus name sickness you are a stranger there i command you come out in jesus name from the top of your head to the tip of your toe i pronounce freedom to you i pronounce deliverance unto you i pronounce conquering power unto you i pronounce dominion in your life in jesus name lord i pray that brain problem insanity and be mad i command that evil spirit come out in jesus name you are cast out you are cast down and i command that person that was having the mental problem you are free in jesus name that swelling on your body that swelling of an ear and that swelling of goiter and that swelling any part of your body i command that swelling now come out in jesus name from the very root you are protect every plant the heavenly father has not planted in your life is supported right now you are free you will not carry the load of satan you will not carry the infirmity of satan you will not carry the plant of the enemy be free in jesus name 
I pray for those people that have been respiratory problem in your lungs and all that. You are healed in Jesus' name. I pray for that person with a cancer problem there. Cancer germs, I command you die off right now. All those cancer pains come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pronounce healing. I pronounce wellness. I pronounce soundness. Be healed in Jesus' name. That thing that is making noise in your head and beat your head, I see if they're going to crack your head, I command that thing to stop right now. By the blood of the lamp, we're free. By the blood of the lamp, we escape. By the blood of the lamp, we're liberated. Be free, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for that person with that swelling in the ampage. I'm commanding that swelling, that ampage, come out right now in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. I, Lord, I pray for those people I'm having oppression at night. You sleep, they will not allow you to sleep well. And the pressure that I command that oppressing spirit, that afflicting spirit, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have uh, diabetes of whatever level, you are healed right now. I send forth the healing power of the Lord upon your body because of the blood of the Lamb. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. All that sin that is uh, tormenting you, urinating, urinating, I command, stop right now in Jesus' name. I command the person that has the pile, you are healed. Pile, be healed, be removed in Jesus' name the kidney and the liver i pray lord you touch them right now heal them by your mighty power lord i pray for those couples who have married and there's no child miracle child i command you to come miracle child i command you to come lord i pray touch the husband and touch the wife and do the miracle in jesus name i pray for those who need to get married i pray whatever is the hindrance i remove that hindrance and i pray lord you are released into this marriage a marriage according to god's will in jesus name Lord, I pray for the people that are walking, but uh, there is no success and there is no prosperity and there is no gain. Oh Lord, whatever is causing that, I command that thing to get out of your life. That the Lord will prosper the work of your hand in Jesus' name. Lord, show mercy to your people. Reveal mercy to your people. Lord, clear all infirmity out of their lives and build them up and beautify their lives and i pray lord you provide for everyone abundantly in jesus name oh lord i pray that on the final day because of the blood of jesus everyone here my brother there my sister there my child my daughter son there will get to heaven when i see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood the judgment will pass over you fury will pass over you condemnation will pass over you eternal judgment will pass over you that lord because of the blood of jesus no soul here will be lost confirm your miracle upon every life thank you because i know you have answered in jesus name i pray i am blessed Praise the Lord, I am blessed. Your blessings remain permanent in Jesus' name.